Hello students, in this video I will go through the steps needed to copy an angle using a compass and a straight edge. Let's take a look. Alright students, what you're going to do is on a blank sheet of paper, you're going to first start by drawing yourself an angle to copy. So I'm going to do the same. And I want you to draw the angle relatively the same size as mine and in the same orientate uh, pos location of the paper because we're going to be copying this somewhere else on the paper here and I'm going to call this point this vertex here I want to call that a and I'm going to place this point somewhere else on the paper I'm going to call that point there a prime so what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to copy this angle and then place that angle opening on A prime. Okay? All right. So what I want you to think about is really try to understand the steps I'm about to explain. The first thing I want you to think about is does the side length of the angle contribute to the opening of the angle? Really think about this. Does the side length of the angle contribute to how wide the opening of the angle is? If you answered no, you're absolutely right. The side length of the angle has absolutely no contribution to the opening of the angle. Because of this, we really do not need to copy the actual length of that angle. All we need to do is copy the opening, right? So because of this, okay, what we're going to do is I am going to draw a line passing through a prime here at some random length now I have no idea what this length is I don't know whether it is the same length as this line or whether it's longer or shorter it really doesn't matter what I want to do is I want to copy the opening right how are we going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to open it up to some setting. I'm going to place my pin on A. And with that setting, I'm going to draw an arc. And the arc that I draw has to hit both sides of the angle. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to label this as B and C. The intersection of the arc that I drew with the two sides of the angle, I'm going to uh, call that point B and that point C. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the length of AB onto this line here. Why am I doing this? Well, that's because I want to figure out what the opening is, right? Now, the, how wide the opening is has to do with where along the line I am. So because I've decided arbitrarily what my compass, opens, uh, what my compass setting is, I'm going to have to then copy this length over here so that I can then determine how wide to open up this angle. If what I've just said doesn't make much sense, let's go through it and then hopefully um, in the action of doing it, it will make more sense. So um, uh, I just copied, I'm going to copy the length of AB. My compass setting right now is open to the length of AB. I'm going to place my pin on A and I am going to make a mark on the line segment I drew and I will label this point as B prime. So now I have the length of A prime B prime, which is the same length as A to B. What I'm going to do now is I am going to figure out how wide to open this. Now understand this, if B happened to be somewhere further down, the opening is going to be much larger, right? So the opening has to do with where B is located. 
So because I've decided arbitrarily and only place my B here, okay, that I, I am going to now uh, take my compass and measure that opening. So I will place my pin on B. It really doesn't matter whether you place it on B or C. I place my pin on B and place my lead on C, like I have there, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my compass. I'm going to place my pin on B. And what I'm going to do is I am going to draw myself an arc. And what should happen is the intersection of this arc of this arc should intersect with the arc that I just made. And you can see here, clearly it doesn't. So what I'm going to do, if that's the case, okay, I need to then, one more time, measure the length of AB. I'm gonna measure the length of AB. If it doesn't intersect, you're gonna measure the length of AB and you're going to again draw the arc so that it does intersect. So now we can see that this arc was this arc here. The arc that I drew here, the intersection of it, this is going to be our C prime. This is the opening, right? The length of this thing, if I place my pin where I found C prime to be and place my lead on B, you can see there that this opening now is going to be the same exact opening as what the angle was up top. This is the same measure. These two things are the same measure. And then as for your last step, you're going to take your straight edge. You're going to connect A prime with C prime. And there you have it. That's the angle measure. And if you take your protractor and you want to see for yourself, all right, I want to measure this. This measures out to be roughly uh, a little over 45, so like maybe 46, 47 degrees, something like that. I take it over here and I do the same thing. And I measure. And it turns out to be roughly about the same, about 45, 46, something like that. Okay? So it turns about to be turns out to be about the same. Actually, it turns out to be exactly the same. What am I saying? All right.